Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today I wanna to give an update on the house that I'm building for myself. Uh, behind me here, we have the block up, we did the underground plumbing, and we had the slab. I wanna give you a kind of a, a quick walkthrough and some of the things that I've done as far as with this home. The, the lot is an oversized lot. And what I wanted to do, instead of doing a standard eight foot garage door wide, and same thing over here for a 16 foot uh, garage door, I had the room. So what I did is right here, I have a 10 foot garage door. And then over to the right, I have a 18 foot wide garage door. So it just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more easy to utilize the, the garage, especially over here with the 10 foot door compared to having a eight foot door that would normally fit on a standard lot. We're gonna have a garage service door that's gonna go out to the back. And then I'm gonna have a pathway over here that's gonna go out to the dock area. And then also here, you notice over here to my right, uh, this is where the water heater goes. A lot of times people wonder as far as uh, the location of the water heater, it does have to be built up to the floor slab. So that's why you see it being raised up as far as over here. This location where I'm standing right now is gonna be the laundry room. To the rear of that is going to be the shower and the bathtub over here. And over here to the right, I have my master bedroom. So one of the things that I wanted to do since this lot is at the end of a canal, I wanted to basically start the design here as far as for the bathroom and wanted to be able to have a view out to the pool area. Okay. And then also down the canal. So all the views in the home are basically looking this way. Another thing that I did is across the rear of the home, I wanted to have a flat back. So you can see over here and I'll point this out. It's going to up over here. What we did is we added a, another block up here. So the ceiling height in this room is gonna be 10 feet. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna frame this down over here, keep the ceiling height, okay? And then drop down to a nine four ceiling height as far as when you enter the closet area and then go into the master bedroom over here. Again, you can see over here, we have a 10 foot beam as far as up on top here, and you're gonna have a picture window looking out into the pool area. And then I also did the 90 degree slider. So I'm gonna have a 10 foot slider here. I mean, I'm sorry, a nine foot slider here. And then I wanted to have all the sliders be the same. So I'm gonna have a nine foot slider, 90 degree here, and then coming off of the master, you're gonna see over here, it's also gonna be a nine foot slider, and then also the master bedroom. I did add over here, we have our uh, outdoor kitchen area. So we have it set up for the pre-plumbing over here. And then this goes right into the pool bath area located over here. We do have the third bathroom over here. That's also going to be used as the bathroom for the main living room. So this is going to be a shower. And then we're going to have our third bedroom over here. So one of the things that I had to do is I have the three transom windows that look out to the front because I wanted to give a little bit more of a modern feel to the home. But then I also have to have a window for egress as far as for this bedroom. So I'm going to have a window here that's going to enable me to, to uh, meet code and as far as to get out. This is going to be the entryway over here. I'm going to have a transom window over here. And what I did to really make this the focal point of the home, 
Uh, I'm gonna have a iron door here. It's gonna be a 42 inch door um, all the way up to the top of the lintel as far as that we see over here. And then right here, as you walk into the entry, um, there's going to be a knee wall that I'm gonna do here. So it's gonna kind of break up this area as far as from the main entrance and as far as into the living area itself. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, comment below, and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.